but I'm happy to be here. I'm happy because I have no family with me. Very happy. You know how it is when you got family. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? If your family's not with you, you can be anywhere in the world. And if your family's not with you, you can be at the dump. <laughs> and you're like, <sighs> wonderful. <laughs> Thank you. My family, uh, my family just adopted a dog uh, like seven years ago. And listen, here's the thing. How long do you give a dog to decide before it wants to be a part of your family? Because this dog does not. Clearly, it hates us. We will walk in a room and the dog leaves. He leaves. He looks at us like, yeah, my nope. baby's shot. Uh, I, I'm just saying, how, but here is the thing, okay, when, when the dog doesn't want, how come I can give away a baby, no questions asked, and I can't give away an animal? Have you ever tried to give away a pet? Because I've tried to give many away, because they don't fit with what I do. And so, they, you try and give it away, and they ask you all, you say, you can say anything, like, it, uh, it bit my child, or it listens to too much Justin Bieber, and they won't take it. <laughs> These are legitimate reasons. Yet, if you want to give a baby away at a fire station, and actually, legitimate reason is, well, it fell out of me. <laughs> so if you can just... Take care of that. I got a thing to do at nine, so if you can just take that. <laughs> Even receiving these True. things is different. Even receiving a pet as opposed to receiving a baby is different. Think about it. Have you ever tried to adopt a pet? Who has adopted a pet? Anybody? <laughs> right? The Secret Service vets you less than these people do. I have bought a house with less paperwork than when I adopted a pet. Okay? I, I, they will ask you everything under the sun when you adopt a pet. It's like that you want to adopt Pepper the dog, right? You're trying to adopt Pepper the dog, and then they look at you like you like have some ill intentions for Pepper. They say, well, uh, uh, so you want to adopt Pepper, huh? Do you live in a house or apartment? Two bedroom, three bedroom. You have kids? Are they dog friendly? How many square feet? Say, so is your house? Are you Michael Vick? <laughs> no, I'm not Michael Vick. <laughs> Yet you give birth to a baby. They don't ask you anything. They don't say, hey, you have a home for the baby. You have food. You do drugs. They don't ask you anything. You have a baby. It plops out. They say, hi, right, peace. See you later. <laughs> Enjoy that baby. <laughs> Good luck. <laughs> I've been to adoption places, like you go to Petco, they have these adoption things, right? These adoption events, and they want you to adopt a little dog, and he's all, oh, little Bert, adopt little Bert, do it. Because Bert is so cute, they know everything about Bert. Bert is five. Bert was uh, uh, birthed by a uh, schnauzer mother and a boxer father. Uh, Bert's favorite color would be green, but it's... Uh, we haven't genetically engineered a dog that can see color, so it's gray right now. No! Why are you telling me all this? If I went to adopt a baby from a fire station, the only thing they'd say is, <sighs> well, it's a girl, so have fun with that.